Hello, this painting tutorial will show you how to paint this cute narwhal. I'm doing this on an 11 inch by 14 inch canvas and here I have my traceable. It is being traced right now with the graphite paper shiny side down below the traceable and it's positioned pretty much so that the narwhal is in the center of the canvas. So you wanna make sure his horn is not sticking off the canvas and neither are his um, fins. Okay, so there it is traced onto the canvas. And then we're gonna start with a three quarter inch flat brush in the color turquoise blue. Okay, I dipped my three quarter inch flat brush in the water first and I added the turquoise blue. And with this three quarter inch flat brush, I'm gonna paint the area all around the narwhal. So I'm using the flat edge, the tip of my brush to get into those sharp edges, especially around his horn. And then I'm using the full width of the brush to kind of contour the shape around the narwhal. Don't worry about adding any colors to your uh, brush yet. We're just using the turquoise blue. And then we have some smaller areas too, like around the mouth over here. And especially when you get really close to that horn, um, switch to a number four round brush so you can get into some of those smaller areas. So essentially you're just outlining the shape of the narwhal with the turquoise blue. Um, I have titanium white and phthalo blue on my palette as well. Those are going to be used later in the painting. But for now, it's just the turquoise blue all around the narwhal. And I'm switching back and forth between the three-quarter flat and the uh, round brush. So if there's smaller areas, I'm going to get into the smaller areas with the round brush. And then if there's bigger areas, I'm going to use my bigger brush. And when you get kind of further away from the narwhal, so you have some more open area of the ocean, you want to kind of make your strokes go in a sort of um, a curve. So I'm going to demonstrate that here after I do the fins. So I'm outlining the fins with the, the round brush so I can get in there and get um, the shape. And you just want to get as close as possible to that shape. So you have the positive space and the negative space around the narwhal. So right here, the strokes are going in a sort of a curved formation because that's how the ocean is going to be painted. So the, the kind of smiley face curved, but it doesn't dip down too low. It's just, I'm not painting completely left and right painting curved. Okay. So what happened next was I dipped my brush in the titanium white. So I'm up here at the top and I'm letting that titanium white blend in with that turquoise blue. And we wanna kinda create a fade. So the ocean is gonna be lightest at the top and then it turns to pure turquoise blue and then at the very bottom it's gonna fade into phthalo blue. So I'm blending this white and um, if you want you can dip your brush in just a tiny bit of water um, to get it to flow a little bit more here and it helps with the blending a bit when you add just a teeny bit of water to your brush don't add too much water because then it'll get all drippy and so we want to really kind of work that paint so I'm adding more of the turquoise to my palette there and right there where that turquoise is um, supposed to blend from the white into kind of a pure turquoise is where I'm adding more paint. So this is wet on wet blending. The colors are blending together on the canvas simply because I'm painting over the stroke and um, working the colors on the canvas to get them to blend. And um, you still want to keep in mind that the direction of the strokes are going in a curve. So you need a lot of turquoise for this painting. I'm adding it back to my palette several times here. And then, um, so in the middle, the area that's like all around and closest to the narwhal, that's where we have the pure turquoise. So when you paint um, closer to the, the whale, the narwhal, I keep I called it a whale, and um, 
that's where the pure turquoise is down here. So we wanna uh, make sure we're just adding turquoise down here and not much of the white. It's okay if you have a little bit of white on your brush and it shows up in streaks and that's okay. Okay, and then right under, we have um, just the pure turquoise, okay? So I mentioned we have the phthalo blue on our palette too. So I'm not even gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna load my brush in the phthalo blue. So I have turquoise on my brush, maybe a little bit of white still, and now the phthalo blue. And at the very bottom of this ocean, we have the, the pure phthalo blue. So in the, the corners, we have the phthalo blue. So we're, we're still doing the curve, but right above, that here we are in the corners so it's kind of curving okay and then we want to get that phthalo blue to blend back up into the turquoise so I'm going to do wet on wet blending and so I'm going to paint over it and perhaps even um, add more turquoise to my brush to get that blue to blend back up into the color so we created a nice gradient of the white blending to turquoise blue blending to phthalo blue. And then, so you're just gonna have to keep working the paint to get it to blend. Um, don't overwork it, because sometimes when you keep trying to blend it and overworking it, it ends up being um, the same solid color. So there's a point where you gotta kinda have to um, stop brushing it, take a step back, and just kind of check to see if it looks like it's blended. Okay. So next we're gonna do some waves in the water. And I have my number four round brush and on my palette I have the white and I'm just kinda kinda water it down and mix it with a little bit of the turquoise. Okay, so water on my brush, kind of swirling it into the white and the turquoise so we have kind of a light aqua color. And I'm gonna paint wavy lines to represent water lines on my ocean. So I'm gonna do that all around the narwhal. And just very lightly, I'm holding my brush very gently. Um, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. These are very light wavy lines. And you can kind of, um, if your turquoise color isn't showing up, you can add more white or more turquoise depending on how it shows up against the background. And then especially here down on the bottom, you may want to add even a little bit of phthalo blue to the, some of the lines on the bottom so they, they show up. So just add the lines very sparingly and our ocean is starting to look almost realistic here, like an ocean. And I did a, I added a little bit more white to some of these wavy lines at the top to kind of make it look like the light was reflecting the water at the top. And then over here in the bottom, I'm gonna do some phthalo blue in my wavy lines. And that's what I'm doing there. I'm painting the same kind of wavy lines, but they're a little bit darker. Okay, and the next thing that I did was paint some seaweed at the bottom. Um, this is very similar to the ocean that I did in my angelfish painting. I did the same colors. I did the thalo blue at the bottom and then I added thalo blue seaweed on top. So this is going to show up because this is our second layer of paint here. And I'm just going to add thalo blue to my brush and paint some wavy lines and it will show up dark because it's the second coat. And we have um, seaweed. So just some kind of thick wavy lines pressing kind of hard to get the thicker line and you can kind of vary your strokes and make them kind of thin and thick as well and if it's not showing up for you then add a tiny bit of black into it like mars black just a drop in it and it should make that dark enough to show up if that's not showing up for you because the thealu blue could be um too dark at the bottom Okay, so we have our ocean background and we're going to go and start painting the narwhal. And we're going to use a 12 bright brush. So this is a flat brush and the color neutral gray value five. 
And basically, I'm going to paint this entire um, shape, the, the all of the narwhal, with the gray color. And um, I'm going to go around his eye, so I'm not going to paint over that circle. I'm going to paint around that circle so we, we keep the, the white part of the circle blank so that we can work and do that paint the eye in later. But the rest of the whale, I keep calling it a whale, narwhal, is going to be gray. And you're just going to have to contour your brush with the shape. So use the full width and kind of go with the, the flow of where the shape is going. And turn your brush on its side to get kind of the, the lines on the edges. And you also want to leave his belly white there's a little belly area um, chest if you look at the principle there's um, a white part and then we're not painting the horn either so the eye the chest and the horn are going to stay white but everything else is going to be gray the fins are going to be gray and the the front and the tail fins are going to be gray so um, make sure, so the fins kind of go to a point so you can turn your brush kind of on its side to get that point in there. But if you need to grab your round brush to kind of fill in some of the areas because they're too small, um, you can do that as well. And we'll go back into this and add some shading in just a little bit. This is just our first layer. And then, okay, so I got my round brush in here because the mouth is um, kind of a smaller area to paint in. And I'm going to use my round brush and get the, the bottom part of his horn kind of painted in. So we have, um, we define the area of where the horn is and where the head is. And then we have this fin right here so you can kind of see where I left the chest area white I did not paint that in gray and I'm just going back in and making sure that I have it all filled in so no white spots and we want to not take a break because this next step requires a shading and we need the gray to stay wet so I'm going to add titanium white to my palette and I'm not going to rinse my brush off. There's still gray on my flat brush. Okay. And I'm going to add white to my flat brush and kind of drag it out here. And what's going to happen is I'm going to paint on the top and that white is going to blend with the gray to make a, a light gray, essentially an even lighter gray because the gray that we're using is pretty light. And then so at the top, the very top of the narwhal's head and the back is the lightest part and it's going to fade back down. So we're creating kind of a gradient. So I'm kind of, I'm doing the wet on wet blending. I'm brushing it very gently to get it to um, blend. So it, it goes from the light gray and then it goes back to, it goes, blends to the gray. Okay, I'm going to do that on the left side of the um, tail fin over here and then uh, I'm going to do so that very top piece that's in the center of the tail and then I'm going to do it on the top part the, I guess the top right part over here on this tail fin and then blend it back into the gray using wet on wet blending and then right here on the um, front fins same thing, adding the white and then brushing it gently over to get to it to blend back in with the gray. And then I can um, continue to render this. I can continue to add even lighter areas right here at the very, very top and blending it back in. And uh, But don't over blend it because then it'll turn into the same color. It'll be all the same shade of gray. So you want to just be very gentle with this to um, with your shading so it doesn't all turn into the same color. 
and then you can add more gray back to your brush if you need to go back and blend the gray back up into the white because maybe you added too much white so that you always have that option there. And I'm going to go in with my round brush and just kind of um, touch up some details here with the back fin so adding the little bit of white and then over here on the center part of the back and on the um, the very pretty much the edges of where I added the lightest part so now we have some um, simple shading that makes our narwhal look um, like it takes form Next, I'm going to paint the chest area white. So I'm gonna add some fresh white to my palette and grab the number four round brush to paint that area. So it's already white, but I'm gonna add the white to the canvas so that it's um, the white acrylic paint and not just the blank gesso part of the canvas. And then I am going to do the horn. So the horn was painted with bronze. I'm going to add bronze to my palette. And I'm going to use my four round brush. This is a smaller area. So um, you can start with the flat brush, but I recommend using the smaller brush to start with. And, uh, and we're actually going to switch to an even smaller brush here in just a second. So I'm going to paint this in a nice solid coat of this bronze and just filling it inside the lines the best that I can here. This bronze is a very pretty color and it, um, when you hold it at a different angle you can see the metallic um, properties of the paint so it's kind of nice. Okay, and if you were to do a, another coat, it would be darker and it, essentially the more coats you do, the darker it gets. I think I just did the one coat here and um, that brush that I just grabbed there was the 10-0 liner brush. Okay, that's if that's to get that horn to go into just the, the, the tip. And um, what I'm doing here with the turquoise color is I'm going in, getting it um, to its touch-ups on the Blue that's around the horn just to make sure that it's um, if there's a few white spots and a few parts where I kind of went outside the line so I'm just touching it up with the um, turquoise okay and so next it kind of popped in there um, my video editing sorry about that but I did there's white on my brush and I painted the eye this is the four brush I know I'm sorry it's not the four brush it's the 10 zero liner brush so I painted the eye white titanium white and I'm freehanding these spots so use the traceable as a um, guideline to kind of see the kind of the shape of the spots and they're kind of um, an organic shape and they're kind of different different sizes some are right on the back so we only see half of the spots and some of them are kind of smaller but we see the whole spot and they go all along his back okay And then maybe there's just a few uh, very small ones and um, this is not exactly the traceable so I'm using the traceable as my reference guide but I'm kind of you know kind of adding and improvising because I am free handing this right now if you want you could always take the traceable and kind of retrace the spots again if you don't feel confident with that okay so what I'm doing next I'm still using the 10 zero liner and I'm doing the circles for the bubbles again you can use the traceable for kind of a reference to see the bubbles there's different sizes there's some are larger circles some are smaller and they're all kind of hanging out around his horn because if um, of course a narwhal would have bubbles around his horn and so they're kind of um, above him as well kind of floating to the top of the ocean and over here on the bottom we have a sort of a whimsical look here with the little dots kind of coming up from the seaweed and so I'm just doing the little kind of dots in a wavy rose and then I'm going back up here and adding a few more bubbles 
not really thinking too hard about the placement of my bubbles. And then the little highlights, so we're just, these are very simple bubbles, just, just the circle and the line for a highlight. And it kind of gives it that added touch of um, what bubbles have. Okay, and so next I'm going to work on some very small fine details with Mars Black and the 10 Zero Liner. I'm going to get up close here and do some lines here. I'm going to do the line for his mouth, and you can use the traceable as a reference guide, but guide and I'm just doing the smiley face part of his mouth and I'm outlining um, kind of the bumps over here that represent um, the bottom and top of his mouth. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of outlining on his fin over just on the left part. And I'm going to do this horn. Okay. I'm going to do um, this, that was kind of a half oval, but I'm doing ovals that are kind of going slanted and they're going slanted all the way to the point. So they get kind of, they get smaller as you get, as you work your way up to the point. So you're doing, um, I'm finishing these ovals because they're half ovals. Okay, so there's my ovals and I'm doing um, slanted ovals going all the way up the horn and they're getting smaller and smaller. I'm trying to my best to stay inside the lines and a few of them got kind of uneven there. I tried to fix them later, um, but you can also do this with a Sharpie, but make sure that everything is um, completely dry before grabbing the Sharpie or a black paint pen. So if you're using the Posca paint pens, you can do that with that. That would be a perfect step to use the black Posca paint pen, okay? So that gives you sort of the um, unicorn horn look uh, of the narwhal. If you don't like that look, you don't have to do the black part. You could just leave it um, blank to simplify it for sure. And I'm just going in and doing a few touch-ups. Adding um, just a bit more bronze to some of these. Okay, next we are going to go in and finish that eye. Use Mars Black and your 10 Zero Liner to paint the pupil of the eye, so the little black circle in his eye. Mine is going to look like it's cross-eyed because of where I put the circle. And then you're going to paint, so um, get the black off your brush and add a color. So I'm using turquoise for the um, colored part of the eye that goes around the black. So I'll lift my hand here just a second so you can see it. Okay, so the colored part goes um, kind of, it kind of hugs the black part, but doesn't go all the way around. My black was at the very um, left part of the circle. So we have the white, the colored part, and the black. Okay, and it's a very tiny area. Another part that you can most certainly use paint pens. So if you have the Posca paint pens, grab those because this is a very detailed, tiny area. area. Um, but I'm doing it with the 10 zero liner. So I'm just kind of adding a few more coats in there, touching it up to get the shape right. And then I'm gonna do two white dots on the black. No, my black was not dried yet, so it's kind of saturated. You might wanna wait until yours dried. I was able to do it when it was not. So just the two white dots right there on the black part to give them that bubble eye look. Then I'm gonna rinse my brush off and grab the black to outline the entire shape of that eye. So that circle, the outer part of the circle is outlined black. 
and we have our cartoon looking eye and we are just about finished here I'm just going to add a few more touch-ups a few more it's so tempting to just get this black and just start outlining everything um, but I like to only outline a few things um, like where the darker areas would be because I did some white shading so I'm doing um, the dark part on the opposite side of where I did the white part of the fins so I'm just adding the black line in there and just to get it to pop just a little bit you don't have to do that if you don't like it and then go to add um, just a few more touch-ups with the white so maybe just a, a little bit of a white line over here at the top with my 10-0 liner very minor detail and then I may add a highlight to the horn so just at the top um, right part of the horn just the little little white curved line on the right part of all those ovals and this painting is pretty much coming to its conclusion. I hope that you enjoyed painting this cute narwhal with me. And we are finished. Thanks for watching.